anyone have any preference, Spike Lee or Jeff Bezos? She Spike combine Lee. them. It's about Spike Jones. Okay. Well, uh, <laughs> shoot, I can't hear what anyone's saying. Spike. Spike. All right. Great. Thank you. Definitive I'm excited for this one. I'm excited for this one. Let's so, do it. Um, I this this story pains me a bit. You know, I love I love that Spike Lee is the Knicks fan that he is. I love his dedication. I love his outfits. And, you know, I love a lot of his movies, right? Not recently that much, but in historically, he's been, he was a interesting and uh, thoughtful and provocative filmmaker who brought different kinds of stories to different audiences. And now apparently he is just a Bitcoin bro. And he's using these incredibly manipulative arguments from cache that he built up of from decades ago based on what I just talked about, in order to get people to put their hard-earned money into buying pretend money. Let's take a listen. Our currency is not current. Old money, as rich as it looks, is flat out broke. Don't believe me? I got the receipts. We call it green, but it's only white. Where's the women? The black folks and the people of color. Native Americans got a nickel. A nickel! People don't even stop to pick up a nickel off the side. Seven million Americans have no bank account. 20 million are underbanked. Old money is not going to pick us up. It pushes us down, exploits, systematically oppresses us. I'm sorry. Like, the, cyn the cynicism of using the fact that women and black people and native people have and more have been excluded from the earnings and from wealth potential in this country in order to sell a scam is despicable well, and obscure real policy choices yeah. like postal banking that could just easily address things like unbanked people also <laughs> also the the yeah. the, Go on. the idea that this that that cryptocurrency is new money that changes all this Name me every single person you can who you you think of when you think of cryptocurrency. Elon Musk, the Winklevoss twins, uh, the, uh, Satoshi, who we don't even know who that is, but it's definitely a dude based on the name. Uh, we're talking about men, majority of them white. I mean, are you kidding me? Wait, show, show me this and you'll, we'll get to it in a second. Show me the black trans women because they come up in this video. Show me the black trans women who've made a who, who've changed whose lives have been changed by cryptocurrency. Please, please show me show me them. Let's uh, you want to continue this clip? Yeah, let's go. Keep going. I just Ooh. but new money, new money is positive, inclusive, fluid, fluid, culturally rich. Where status is anything but status quo. Do your own research. The digital rebellion is here. Old money is out. New money is in. All right, so this is a commercial great. for a company named CoinCloud. But I love the use of when they're doing the new money thing. I love the use of the the Harry Tubman, Tubman, Tubman twenty dollar that... bill because that's what their example of new money is. But that's the fucking old money that they're talking about. There yeah. is no Harriet Tubman cryptocurrency. Like, are you kidding me? They don't because they don't have a visual way to show their fake, non-existent digital money because it's all just bullshit. 
that that's what sold it for me too. I, I like when the Harriet Tubman 20 came up. That's like, you know, it sent me, <laughs> sent my sides into space because ultimately, you know, he's dressed kind of like a carnival barker. It's just a lot of flashing images. I just wanted him to drop like, Are you tired of being robbed? Like in my, you know, by banks, like in my, you know, hit 2007 movie, The Inside Man starring Denzel Washington, then invest in, you know, coin cloud or Bitcoin or whatever's going on. And, you know, it's very cynical to draw on the historical sort of uh, exploitation of black and brown and just generally poor communities by traditional banking institutions to sort of pivot them into what is essentially an even less regulated stock market. But, you know, it's it has all of the veneer of that kind of get rich quick scheme infomercial for, for a new era. And I remember when people were getting on Spike Jones for like, promoting absolute Brooklyn, that vodka uh, brand that he had, right, like, what do you mean? and like, then he pivoted right into like his, like, respect the police campaign. And that to me is like, uh, just, this is like the ultimate conclusion of that sort of black capitalism trajectory. And it's just like, he's been rich for too long too. And uh, speaking, uh, like, was that Kendrick Sampson in that video there? Yeah. Yeah. At the end, they have a whole credits and he's on the list. Yes. That's a huge bummer. He's like a great activist and actor but anyway well you know because people people are falling for this shit you know people yeah. are falling for this cryptocurrency being the like if if you were someone who's like anti-establishment and against the like oh whatever the government whatever uh, goes around or work around to the government oh screw the big banks and yeah of course the big bank sucks financial system sucks and people are looking for an alternative but the first thing that comes to that comes along cryptocurrency that presents itself as that isn't that it's not an alternative it's the same shit in fact in my estimation it's even worse in some regards and in in you know in that uh video uh spike says do your own research which is a common refrain Awful. from from the 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 Yaron Brook, <laughs> yeah. especially yeah, especially the uh, Bitcoin people, but you also hear from the QAnon folks and libertarian Q people. It's like conspiracy right. yes. theorists garbage. Yeah, right. It's, it's, it's because there's a whole yeah, like a industry. Yeah, it's super cold because you know why? It's it's the automatic, and I get this on Twitter all the time from uh, right wingers and crypto people who don't come out as right wing uh, straight up. Do your own research. It's their way of saying I have no way of actually coming back to any of your critiques. So what I'm gonna do is just pretend that you are just off base flat out. There's no way to respond to you because it's just wrong to begin with. It's just because they don't know. They can't even come to terms with the fact that people have actually looked into this stuff. And I did my research on this company, by the way, uh, at uh, Spike's, Spike's request. And this, uh, this company, what are they called again? Coin, uh, Coin Cloud? Yeah. Yeah, the ATM company. So. I looked online to see some reviews of them, and they are basically just a crypto ATM uh, company. All this idea of, uh, you know, Spike brings up that uh, uh, there's millions of people in this country who don't have bank accounts. Yeah, that's definitely a problem. That's absolutely true. How does a cryptocurrency ATM service fix that? Uh, here are some of the reviews I found online of uh, CoinCloud. I just made a, I just made a transaction with CoinCloud ATM. They took 11.5%, but I was desperate and I had no other way to get Bitcoin quickly. The transaction is still in progress and pending in my wallet. It. The support closed at 4 p.m. Pacific. Does anyone know how long it will take to go through? Uh, beware of coin cloud ATMs for Bitcoin. I wanted to try out a Bitcoin ATM and since had some spare money lying around, I decided why not? Here we go. Ready for this? I purchased around $44 of Bitcoin at a coin cloud ATM. I wound up getting around $13, a $31 fee. Like this is all just scams to for people to to get fee like the people who are running that's these companies self empowerment. I mean that's what's so cynical about it too. It's yeah. just some sort yeah. of new payday loan scheme that has just you know has the veneer of being novel because it has like the you know veneer of technology of digital age. And I'm it's, surprised it doesn't involve NFTs at some point. It's so funny that this is like the marker of like they're using like some sort of progressive like woke ideology behind this because obviously the most nefarious things in the world are paid for through fucking cryptocurrency. Like the most evil things you can imagine are paid for in untraceable money. Yeah, it's a tax like haven for illegal activity and for rich people who don't want 
their money being watched. And just to go back taxed. to that, like, do your own research thing. What he's what what that's banking on is the fact that you have this entire culture industry, which is basically, you know how uh, during the any gold rush, the people who are really making the money are the people selling the shovels. Mm-hmm. That's the same. There's the people talking about crypto now with to like um, getting hundreds of thousands of views and cashing in on advertising money. That's who's really making a whole bunch of money in crypto. And then you have the people who actually own it and can speculate on it. But that's the thing about this coin, this coin cloud or whatever the hell. Like, where are they going after they shove that Tubman in the coin cloud? They're like, now, now I'm gonna go walk away. Shove that Tubman. And then hope my asset um, goes up and up, right? Like, it's it's not it's not like I'm gonna go take my Bitcoin to go do a purchase at like. Yankee Stadium or something yeah. like that. It's I'm gonna put this money in here and hope it inflates because I'm participating in a bubble. Well, I mean, Saquon Barkley of the New York Giants just said he's gonna put all of his endorsement money in Bitcoin going forward. Ten million dollars. Oh, yeah, right. Right. It, it benefits. It's it's all this for him. Um, it be- yeah. No, no, it's all this influencer economy though, right? right. Like this is like this is like, Naib Bukele in El Salvador is basically just like a big influencer, and that that these sort of scams are using to basically boost themselves and try to you know sell high. Right. Right. Yeah. That's all. It's all about the big holders making money. Like there's a reason why all these cryptocurrencies all tank at the same time when they tank and all pump at the same time when they pump because it's a handful of really rich people who decide to invest in this stuff and they end up making a, a bag every time and you know and they're the ones making the money like the idea that this money is just oh i'm just i put my money in and i get extra money out like when you win where do you think like if you're just a regular person even and you've made money off bitcoin where do you think that money comes from? You think that money just came off the money tree and evaporated and, and this, this came out of thin air? No, your money that you gained is coming from all the people who fucking lost. Uh, we have some IMs about this. I think people are all on fire about it. Uh, the other Biden says, this Spike Lee clip seems like a good argument for postal banking, not crypto. Agreed. Thank you. Um, that's a, a, you know, a point that Matt made too. Uh, Rhea says, Spike Lee advertising crypto to black folks is the same energy as Candace Owens advertising the Republican Party to black folks using our own suffering as a means of manipulation. Um, uh, Jay Schiavone says, as Rick Perlstein observed today, Spike is dressed like the music man. Do your own Yeah, music- he looks like uh, Lionel from, uh, or Lyle from uh, the Monorail Simpsons episode. Um... Shane from Canada. Yeah, there we go. I saw that, Brendan. Folks, there's more of what you've just saw where that came from. That's if you hit the subscribe and like button. Thank you. Really. Thank you.